Tēnā tātou katoa, good evening. Wayne Brown says the removal of the regional fuel tax is going to make life a lot harder for Aucklanders. The tax has been earmarked for various Auckland projects, but today the government announced it will be gone by July. And the Mayor says Auckland now faces a choice, raise the rates or cancel transport projects. Nick Trubridge has a story. Buckle up, it could be a bumpy ride. I just see as an early skirmish in what will become an ongoing debate. The regional fuel tax, 11.5 cents a litre to pay for Auckland transport projects, is gone. It'll leave a $1.2 billion hole in Auckland Council's transport funding. That money was being used to give you better roads. Roads, busways, you name it, will be paused as council figures out how to fund them. Some could be culled altogether. This is about, actually, this is about cost of living. Uh, it's 11 and a half yeah. cents per litre more for Aucklanders, being spent on a range of priorities which I don't think Aucklanders see as their priority. Except it seems they might. A Curia research poll conducted by the Auckland Mayoral Office shows 44% of Aucklanders surveyed want to keep the fuel tax, 26% want projects cancelled, 19% say lift rates, 10% are unsure. And so this is kind of a simplistic move by the government to solve something they told the public and it will, it will have unintended consequences which we will both have to deal with. And he's not buying the Minister's cost of living argument because Aucklanders will pay somehow. Yeah, well, we save you here but we're going to have to pay more rates over here. <laughs> So what's on the chopping block? Well, there's $350 million left in the fuel tax kitty, enough to cover the next stage of Auckland's Eastern Busway and electric trains for City Rail Link. On the scrap heap could be the final Eastern Busway stage and North Shore's Lake Road. I'm sure the people of Lake Road aren't going to be too happy to suddenly find they're not going to have Lake Road done up. But the Minister's not budging. Even joking, he's got the mayor on side. Also, uh, I'm sure the mayor will be happy. There might be a few, a few le uh, slightly less speed bumps um, being delivered as well. Newsflash, he ain't. You're a third of the government. I'm a third of New Zealand. We've got to sit down and talk. Road rage, political style. Well, Nick joins us now. Nick, how on earth are these roading projects going to be paid for then without the tax? Yeah, that's the question on everyone's mind, Sam. Uh, I have the list here. This is just one page. We're looking at uh, this page alone, at least 15 projects. That's just one page. Now, uh, Mayor Brown, in terms of paying for these projects, has said he's adamant he doesn't want to lift rates. Aucklanders are already looking at 7.5% hikes this year. He ran on having rates as low as possible, so you have to think that he will move heaven and earth not to use that as an option. So then we turn to cutting projects. It does seem somewhat inevitable that some projects Aucklanders may have been looking forward to will be cut. There is a little bit of middle ground between Crown and Council here when it comes to uh, sharing the burden on some projects. We mentioned the Eastern Busway there. It does seem to be common ground there on getting that done. But then on the flip side of that there are projects, uh, including projects in the Regional Fuel Tax Fund that the Crown doesn't seem keen on at all. The Crown's mentioned time of use funding, basically congestion charging for certain parts of the day. Of course that comes with its own problems. That's usually used to uh, lessen the burden in terms of congestion on our highways. Not really generally seen as a revenue generator like the fuel tax might be. So the war of words is starting. These two parties said they would work together. It feels like a bit of a shaky beginning. Uh, Wayne Brown been lobbing some grenades. He said if council wants to ease cost of living uh, on Kiwis they could reduce government's spending by cutting some of MB. He says no one would notice that in his words. So the war of words is starting. We will see where it leads. Sam. Namahi Nick, thanks so much.